Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Pox Nora. When we last left off, I had just shown off the for well, half of the Forsaken Waste deck that you start with. Now, I'm going to go do the Forglar Swamp against Shattered Peaks, so this ought to be fun. It will should be able to show what I don't have in the Shattered Peaks deck, so additionally fun. Now, I will say this might not go the best. This, this definitely might not go the best. Ah yes, th this map too. I absolutely despise this map as well because as you can see from over here, it's just like a cluster crap of uh, cliffs. Like the, you can't walk from here to here. You actually have to walk all the way up here, then to here to get that, and you have to walk all the way down here, over here to get through there, or walk through this. But you can't walk from here to here. You have to summon from here all the way, walk them down, and it's just annoying as hell. Now, what do I? What would I want? A slipworm is nice to start with. Because, isn't it flying? It just looks like it's flying because it floats in the air. Target unoccupied water space. Hey, guess what? There's no water space in this map, so that's useless. Uh, I suppose I'll get the Tide Master. Because he can leap. Granted, Leap is utterly useless because it takes three ability points and he can only move to a maximum of three spaces. But it allows him to leap out of combat, that's the point. And Tidal Wave and Magic Attack. Eh. Nothing all too fancy. Meanwhile, they get a Mountain Lion and a Lurker that is that is infused with Nora and looks like a Christmas tree. Yep. Uh, what else? No, no. Screaming Leviathan? No. Although Screaming Leviathan does have flying, so I suppose. It only had... Actually, it has a pretty good range sonic attack. It actually has range with the thing. Also, these and us, they're all either aquatic or semi-aquatic, so they have bonuses when they're near water when we're in the mountains. Yeah, probably showing off Forglar Swamp against the Shattered Peaks was not the best option. Relic has water aura. When the student is deployed, at the speed, three spaces to use becomes shallow water and water. The inner turn space adjacent to terrain generated by the ability become water. So, basically, this will create water everywhere. I think I won't place it there because it'll get in the way, but I'll place it a bit, uh, I'll place it like next to the, or actually no, right here-ish, I'll send the Tide, the Tide Master that way, and I actually think I will save to summon more units at this, the hell is that, oh that's distraction, cannot activate abilities that are not basic attacks, meaning you can't even leap. Yeah, as you can see, a pit wolf, a mountain lion, a cyclops, all this stuff I don't have access to with the Shattered Peaks deck. That's why it was so bloody, bloody disappointing. Now, flood generator, if you will. That should help a wee bit. Boghopper Shaman can heal. Uh, what else? Electric eel. I mean. See, here's the thing, like, if you look at these, they don't really have a whole lot of health. Look at the Shaman, 35 hit points, 44 hit points, granted the Leviathan, 63, but, you know, 54, 49, 55, 60. They have pretty beefy stuff. In a font or shrine deployment zone, takes 12 magical damage. Well... That hurt three of them. For ten turns, you gain ten Nora. Well, you know what? Why not? More Nora, 
please. That would be nice. But next turn, the Levite. Oh, right, because you're a Levite too, you can walk over the bloody chasm. I forgot about that. But you can at least attack. Sorry, target small, small champion, meaning not that thing. Occupying water plants, undead. Water plants, undead elements, flying in this amphibious users cannot be drowned. Under two. All champions take eight physical damage, come round to two. No. I don't have a whole lot of, you know, offense. I need this wolf to die so I can use this, because he is immediately going to move. Hey look, hey, and actually no, he moved close enough to attack the Tide Master, but that's about it. And they appear to act absolutely be trashing the Tide Master, in fact. But I am going to get a Ball Copper Shaman to heal him. This fish will be able to hold him off. Does have an electricity order, or which means it'll hurt that thing and it doesn't. I don't. Know. I mean, it has a thing where if the enemy tries to move away from it, it takes additional damage. But I'm pretty sure that wolf isn't gonna try and move away. I love the cavern spawn as well. Another flood generator. Uh, I don't... This is the problem. You do have heal, but here's the problem. You're defenseless. 30% more damage from melee attacks. So, just not have you be in melee range, I guess. I would like... The Meyer Vixen as a healer, please. And then attack again. Okay. Heal mass. Friendly champions. Including this one, four spaces heal six hit points or f twelve hit points on a single target. Well, twelve hit points on a single target, of course. <laughs> forward and that uh, should be good because I can't cast another flood gen well let's replace one down there why not just another building to create even more water meanwhile you're nearly dead and you're canceling all of my healers abilities to heal also destroying my flood generator You drown. Take that. Yeah. But you like drowning. You lose. Oh yeah, you get to move when you attack something. Could you move just so you can actually hit it? Actually, you could. I think you could hit it anyway, but oh well. I feel more comfortable with you having a space in between you and it. Shock it. Oh yeah, you have Invigorate as well. And... Cast. Magic. Not enough, mind you, but you know, it's something. Okay, end turn. How long are they destroying? Two more turns. My Tide Master is probably dead. No. He's 
dead bow. <laughs> Uh, cast that right here. Do a, little, a little bit of additional damage against the upcoming Cyclops. Uh, and an electric eel. Right here. And hopefully I can kill this thing. Mm. That was pretty much jack all for damage. Well, he is vulnerable to Sonic, but I suppose so well. I guess some extra Nora. Yay, you guys still can't heal for another turn. Well, may as well move you guys closer to the person who needs all of your bloody attention. And end turn. Oh my god. They have a savage boar and a dinosaur with a helmet and a cave dragon. They, they, they basically have everything and a half. No, I want you to click on him. Okay, is he better? He's all better, mostly. Uh, Marsh Song, yes please. That stopped me from getting a few things, but I will get another electric heal. Yeah, as you can see, hey, guess what? I summon that right next to the guy to stop him. Hey, guess, hey also, guess what? You have to walk all the way around the thing. Oh, well then, if that's the case... Just heal him right back up. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. You can't actually go over there. Alright, you go that way. You go that way. And you go this way. Now, yeah. and turn. Now I have a couple extra units. However, they also have a lot of units themselves. And the Tidemaster is instantly in trouble again. 20 damage! What? Excuse me? I would kindly request that you leap the hell out of the way. Actually, uh, actually, would, would that jump? Uh. Within two spaces, that is one. It's not within two spaces, so we'll just attack. However, I'm not sure if you can actually get there. No, you can't. Oh well. I will urge you to invigorate him though. So that way he can maybe. No, no, that won't work. That would hurt my own guy. I don't want to do that. I need that guy dead yesterday. Cause he had he does, you know, twenty damage. Oh hey, a poison cloud. That would probably help. They still have so many things on the field. Oh, there ain't no healing coming out of my guys for a few turns. Oh god, no, it's my face. Well, my face doesn't exist anymore. You just kill him. That's something, I guess. Move forward again. you to move right there so that way the enemy can't move in place. 
opposing spells may not be cast next turn. I think I need more units, preferably more people who can attack in range. Uh, eh, Mandrake would be alright, but... Eh. Let's actually get a Quagmire. Quagmire Mirror. You can stay there. Jimmy gains domain water refuse and trail water. While you equip for water space, so receives amplified poison. I don't have anybody who casts poison, otherwise I would. There is the bloated toad, but I think the bloated toad has the nasty side effect of soon dying after it. <laughs> yeah, it's short lived, so that would be useless. And you're just going to assassin. <laughs> oh, that hurt so much. Well, I just want you to give it your all. If you live, good. If you don't, well, you tried. Can you actually cast that here if... Whoa, I almost... Oh, wait, no, you're still distracted, so you can't. Magic attack. Target opposing gym is force based gift, takes five physical damage and then becomes distracted. All friendly gym do space gain two ability points and the space they are standing in becomes water. For four turns, two spaces and tiles champion are water and gain one. All of which are fairly nice. Uh, each enemy champion takes twelve magic. Make him attack again and that would have killed the boar. Ow! That was utter failure. Is he dead? He's dead. Okay, that's good. Now you. You attack the mountain lion. Attack the thing that is going to kill us if we don't attack it first. Now that you've healed him, heal everybody! Yay! Everybody's feeling a bit healthier. Uh, do I really wanna? No. Uh, the spirit altar is my war banner, so I may as well get it. Just cast a font eruption, why not? Hey, that actually hurt him, so that was a game. Alright, I want you to get into in a very annoying place for that guy. By the way, just well move forward and then actually push your stuff to him, just so he can attack more. Look at how much water this one flood generator has made. This is how much water a single flood generator can can make if it's given enough time. It's a bit nuts. Attack. And attack. And all of the attacking. Every single person just attack him until he falls over. What is this? Another flood generator. I can't cast that anywhere that I'd want it. I will, however, cast it. Because that hurts their stuff even more. Is it possible for you to actually hit him with dehydration? Yes, good. So I want you to leap out the way. And you to step back. Can you dehydrate somebody? Yes, you can. Good. And you can attack, and I've made everybody attack. Okay. Oh, goody. That's my.
my main, my biggest healer on the turn that he can heal can no longer heal. Because, you know, reasons. Right, you attack him. I just want him dead, please. Dead yet? You move it back. So many magic attacks. Just every single magic attack possible. I will say, because the Shattered Peaks stuff is a lot, a lot of uh, big units, this area right here just utterly destroys them. I'm just gonna get a slip room. Why? Why not? Ooh, it has teleport. I didn't know that. Maybe I should pay attention more, he said to himself. Actually, the enemy don't have a whole lot of stuff left. That pushed more ability points into them. Oh yeah, you have to use extra stuff. Because I can't tell that there's actually a cliff there because of the way the area is shaped. magic damage. Pretty much just constantly attack with magic damage. And you, and you, and then you move a bit closer, so that way you can invigorate him to attack again. Like so. Then have the Leviathan fly over here. Fly over here and just collect all of the Nora bubbles. Now, what else haven't I gotten? I haven't gotten one of these. Has a psychic attack can constrict and charm. And if Jim through space can charm, the distant and all affected units are disengaged from each other. Has negative two damage and may not attack use abilities against the person that charmed it. And the Mandrake, otherwise known as Ugly, has Fear. Champion has negative 3 damage and may not attack the unit that frightened it. And also has Sonic damage at range of 2. Nothing to exactly write home about. It's okay, just not fantabulous. Can you hit him? Yes, you can. Do so. I mean, I've, I've eventually won, it's just... The only reason I actually won was because the terrain in the Shattered Peaks land sucks for three-fourths of the Shattered Peaks units. Uh, can I cast it here? Cast this here? I can. And the Poison Cloud. Why? Because I hate you. And you have to just move a bit forward so you can finish him off. Now it's just a matter of attacking you guys. And the AI seems to be too stupid to have them actually do anything. And there we go. You forward, you forward. I feel like I'm the Forsaken Wastes. So many units to move. stop them from casting a spell as well, just in case they decide to. Now here's the thing, look at how much water this one flood generator has made. It's flooded three-fourths of the map. Yeah, that's the one thing about the these, uh, these guys right here. They definitely know how to alter the terrain. Like, they are honestly better at altering terrain than the savage type. Swamp. I can see the appeal, 
but at the same time, it's all meh. I mean, just flooding the area with water was pretty fun. And the heals were pretty nice, but if you noticed, they're mainly magical damage and what little melee they did have, at least this deck, wasn't particularly powerful. I know there are certain Forglar Swamp units that are good melee, as we saw in the first episode, but other than that, it is not really something... I mean, they're a bit different, they're not this box standard, but at the same time, they're not my kind of thing entirely. But that was Forglar Swamp. We only have two factions left, which would be the Kathir Forest and the Underdepths. But that is for next time, so until then, see you later.